What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on Zavonimir and why he's not playing for Kentucky right now, and an injury update on Aaron Bradshaw and Uganda. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Zavonimir was a seven-footer that Kentucky got from overseas, is still waiting to play his first college game. It was a lot of drama with him being enrolled to the school because of a test score. But eventually that was handled and he was admitted to Kentucky and allowed to take classes, practice with the team, and travel with the team. But Zavonimir and Kentucky had one big problem standing in the way of him playing the season and that's a battle with the NCAA. Zavonimir has not received clearance from the NCAA and Coach Kyle is starting to get worried because time is running out if he can play or not. He gave a statement saying this, the NCAA has 45 days to make judgment from the time he gets here. If we had gotten him in earlier, we would know. It is what it is. So as of right now, it's not looking good for him and it's a high chance he won't play this season. Coach Kyle was hoping to have him for the game against Kansas, but that didn't happen. From what I read, the NCAA has until November 26th to make a decision and I guess if they don't clear him, he just won't play this season. It's two things on social media that could be the reason why he's not cleared the first thing i seen he was taking money overseas when he was playing but with nil deals and all that that's probably not the issue but who knows and the second thing is the ncaa wants him to take another exam so hopefully the ncaa gets a statement on why he's not playing or they just clear him and everything will be good we have some updates on the injured bigs first let's talk about aaron bradshaw who's a five-star prospect and projected to be a lottery pick in the 2024 nba draft he has been sidelined with a foot injury and he had surgery earlier this offseason but it looks like he'll be making his return very soon the injury update has stated he should be a week or two away from being fully healthy to practice and play. He'll probably be back after three weeks. He's going to need to have a few practices before he plays. They need to at least get him into game shape. Coach Kyle will probably have him on a minutes restriction when he comes back anyway. Hopefully he comes back fully healthy. Aaron Bradshaw is a talented player and he can help Kentucky on both sides of the ball. He's going to have a big season for them. Uganda is most likely not coming back for a while. He was injured right before Kentucky played in the Global Jam in July and that was a big blow for the team since that was the only healthy big man that they had at the time. It's reported that they're hoping to get him back for the UNC and Louisville games they play UNC on December 16th so maybe we might see him in that game but I feel like he won't be back until conference play which is in January so with Zavonimir still waiting to be cleared by the NCAA and Uganda not being back till December or January all eyes will be on Aaron Bradshaw so hopefully Kentucky will finally get one of their seven footers back on the court do you think Zavonimir will play this season and how good do you think Aaron Bradshaw will be this season drop your opinions in the comments drop a like on the video and sub to the channel turn on post notifications so you know when I post I appreciate y'all and I'll see you in the next video Till next time.